Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Lady of the Night. Lady now, of the Adam, night. our audience knows you as the Hey Queen band leader and, of course, as the king of the bitch tracks, the Mac of the bitch tracks. You've created bitch tracks out of some of the most classic RuPaul uh, drag race moments, but you have worked with nightlife and drag legends long before that. Um, now, your first album was my album. Uh -huh. I picked you out of obscurity <laughs> to <laughs> produce my Gays Gone Wild album, which was a huge <laughs> success. And you and I started producing uh, basically our friends around the nightlife scene and creating them into their own pop stars, underground pop stars. We did it with Erica, Peppermint's first single, mm -hmm. Serving It Up was a song that you and I and Linda James wrote together. And that opened the door for you to work with a ton of other nightlife legends. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was kind of crazy in New York at the time. Like, it there wasn't tons of music producers like in and so i think that we kind of started working together by getting introduced by a mutual friend and we were just it was the scene was so vibrant and active at that time there was just like so much uh energy and and, and new creation going on and all these different personalities it was like crazy and and we were just there to like make songs for people and it was really really what built my confidence as a producer being able to work with all these people that were already established that were already doing their thing um it was really exciting and i think that what i'm what i was doing with uh what i've been doing recently with the bitch tracks using people's voices from different sources it was something that i had been doing for years it just was before the whole uh, queer idea went so mainstream like it is now um, with RuPaul's Drag Race and uh, social media. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I was making bitch tracks for, for years before that. Yeah, I mean, before the girls on RuPaul's Drag Race were having singles where they were rapping or they were doing rap challenges on RuPaul's Drag Race, check my credentials, we formed a drag rap supergroup called La Mady, yes, we uh, did. circa 2006, with some of the hottest drag stars from New York City at the time. Uh-huh. We did, uh, who was it? It was me, my it was myself, uh, Coco Aviance, Linda James, Nita Aviance, and a special guest on what I think <laughs> my favorite track of ours called This Is New York City, Bitch. Which is, I mean, stands up to this day, I think. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Aviance. Yes. Guest, was a guest on that track. But yeah, <laughs> we, I mean, we was doing it. And we had so much fun together. God, what a great time. Yes, I hope the clubs reopen <laughs> so that y'all children out there can still have some of the memories that we were able to create. Gosh, I Because right so. now, mm -hmm. nightlife as we know it does not exist. Mm -hmm. I don't know. As someone, as someone once told me in, a, in an after-hours type situation, uh, we might have had all the fun. There might not be any left. <laughs> <laughs> You took it off. Let's hope guys, not. Oh, you guys please, had all the Jesus, fun. please like, give us the fun back. <laughs> now, speaking of fun, let's play a little round of a little game I like to call The Look Goes As Follows. In this game, we're going to show you looks from your past, and you will have to give us a title for what you were going for, what you were trying to portray Ooh, with this Let's look. look. I need to okay? This All right, let us begin. Here is the first look. <laughs> oh my wow. goodness. Who is this twink of all twinks? Oh my God. Um, yeah, um, we're gonna have to call that one elementary. <laughs> Middle school, <laughs> not college. <laughs> <laughs> now, you were a grown man in that photo. <laughs> you allegedly. Look, you look, allegedly. You look 10. Um, I was a grown ass man in that photo, but that was actually, that was at the beginning of my time in New York, towards, towards the beginning. Um, and 
Yeah, I think it was really one of my first like actual photo, like real photo shoots that I had set up. It was with uh, the legendary photographer Jeff Eason from New York City. Yes. Um, and that was actually taken in the bar that I had a weekly residency at with my live band at XS Lounge in Chelsea. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, girl, I was just trying to figure out what the hell was going on at that point. I didn't know. <laughs> I said, I like this multicolor uh, fake babe hoodie. <laughs> right. I like this fake Gucci uh, watch that I bought on 8th Street. And yeah. I'm gonna make it work. So that was the you know. that was the origination of gay teenage runaway. Gay teenage right. runaway. You did look like a gay teenage runaway yeah. with an emo bang piece emo bang. early on well, when I knew the you. Early mm -hmm. 2000s. What do you got? What else are you gonna All do? All right, let's take a look at Erica's first look. The look goes as Ooh. follows. Oh, Sweetie scandal. Legs. What is this look titled, Erica? And when did that happen? That was in. That's got to be 2000. Uh huh. Girl. And it's called, the title of that look has to be Like a Virgin Meeting in the Co ed Ladies Room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think is the title of that yeah. look. Erica, Girl, for that photo being 20 oh years God. ago, you still look shockingly exactly the same. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> That was when you were a young NYU student? Uh, yeah. I mean, that I would kill to have be able to go bare-legged like that anymore. God, could you imagine? I'd be too much for the world. Oh, well, I, I think we have something anything. to look forward to. Oh, girl. All right, <laughs> uh, next picture, the look goes as follows. Oh, Ooh, my. She, yeah. she got out of her teenage runaway stage and she made her first music video. <laughs> yes, um, we're going to call that one OG NYC Fagography. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a still from your Faggity Attention music video. Yes, Faggity yes. Attention. And yes, that is Milan, the legendary Milan from Drag Race, who was the choreographer for the video, and that other man the on other the other man. side, that other, other man is Erica Torabians, also a man. <laughs> and it was during that video shoot that oh. also you were doing your little choreographies on the street in Chelsea at midnight, and who pulled up in a uh, Escalade and rolled their window down? Queen Bee herself, Beyonce, Miss honey. Beyonce, girl. She, she, my friend was ma was playing drums for her at the time. I about peed my pants. And my friend was had <laughs> just gotten off rehearsal and come over to the video shoot to, to hang out. And randomly, Beyonce drives by, stops her car, rolls down the window, and asks what we're doing. And I run up and say, we're shooting my music video. And there, look, there's your drummer right there. And she's like, Oh my God, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take another look. The look goes as follows. Erica, whoa. Ooh, yes. I think the title of this one must be DIY Showgirl Miss Olympia Pageant Winner. Uh -huh. <laughs> Because I look very mus muscular. In that, <laughs> right, in that that's photograph. true. You are known <laughs> for a very muscular arm, Erica. Look at those arms. Welcome uh, to the gun. She, she doesn't even. She does not work out with weights. That is natural, <laughs> honey. Now that was from your period right before you left New York, yeah, where you were right part of the Suzanne Barsh. That was at a party Suzanne Barsh party yeah. called Coots. Yes. Mm, good that party. was a good that was a really good party. I mean all of our parties are good parties. And one other thing about all of your looks, sweeties, you make them yourself. I make everything I wear myself. That look included. I made this just the other day. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, all right, the look goes as follows. Let's see Adam. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute, honey. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put my finger yeah. in it. Wait a second okay. now. She, she's not the only one on this couch that has a little queen in her, honey. <laughs> um, we're going to have to call that one Adaminta Josefinta on Acid. Because that was done by Acid Betty. When I was living in New York, I had the great opportunity to be able to be put up in Yags by some of the 
fiercest drag queens because I was working with all of them. So uh, I had a gig one night at um, Area, and I decided that she was going to pump a Luke, honey. She pumped that Luke. So I called up Acid Betty and I said, will you dress me up tonight? And that's what she got. Honey, she did. Okay, the look goes as follows. Erica. Whoa, oh, there's so many Erica. Many. This is one of my favorite pictures, also taken by the legendary Jeff Eason. Um, the title is Attack of the Cunty Clone Drag Queen Football Team <laughs> <laughs> versus Wonder Woman. <laughs> of yes. course, of course. Uh, that was from the My Pumps era. That was the look you were pumping during that whole time. Yeah, that was a, yeah, a red, red hair. Bang, scantily clad. Fantastic. It's good. <laughs> I'm kind of revisiting that sort of a vibe these days. I like it, but with no hair. But with no hair. Well, it's, who has the time? <laughs> well, exactly. I mean, in your house of Aviance, darling, a dome will do, as you learn from Mother Kevin Aviance. Yeah, girl, ain't nothing wrong with no her. That's right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to brush it out. You don't have to do anything. Uh-uh. You, gotta, you ain't got to sweat it out either. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that has been The Look Goes As Follows. <laughs> the Look. Yes. The Look. The Look. The Look. The Look. The look. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Oh God, Everyone should too. check out all of your projects. And you guys are still doing the gayest of all time with me yes, every we are. week. The and gayest. It's super- stuff. Exactly. Of all time. <laughs> and you guys have turned it so fiercely that you have to share a trophy, sweetie. Oh, Yay! Yay! <laughs> and you also cannot touch it because of Rona, okay? Aww. But we'll, we'll wipe it down later. Yeah, we'll wipe it down and deliver it to your dressing room. Now, I know you know exactly how this show goes, and normally a go go boy would run out and hump you, but. Again, we can't do it right now, but that's not going to stop us. You've won yourself a virtual lap dance. Hit it! <laughs> it's Kirk. There he is. Oh, hey, uh-huh. what up, Kirk? Oh, oh, he's yeah. working it. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, now oh, pretend yeah, you're getting it. it. I that, can feel oh, it. wow, zoom oh, in. Oh, oh, it's yeah. happening. Oh, it's all in my face. <laughs> Shake it, girl. Come on, girl. Oh. Work it harder. Oh, oh yeah. Pretend oh. you're getting it, Erica. Oh, oh it's slapping oh. you around. Oh. oh, it's doing everything. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. There it is. All Slap right. It. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. Slap it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now, Erica and Adam are not going anywhere. We're going to stick around and play Look at Her. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We want to send our love to our beautiful angel, Lady Red. Hopefully you are fully recovered by the time you see this, sweetie. We love you and we miss you. And we'll see you next time on Hey Queen. Bye, baby. Bye.